I've been working in the motion picture industry for over 35 years now on over 40 feature films. Very fortunate to have worked on the Star Wars series, Jurassic Park series, Terminator series, Matrix series, a lot of the big franchises. My name is Fawn Davis. I am production designer on Gods of Mars and the founder of Fonco Studios. We do everything from design and development through photography, but we specialize in the unusual. We do a lot of robotics and we do creatures, we do miniatures and crazy special effects. It's become a place to come for the things you can't get anywhere else. Gods of Mars is about the colonization of Mars gone horrifically wrong because people are involved. <laughs> you know, like most science fiction, I guess. On the production design side, there's a lot of spacecraft, there's robots, there's all the exciting things that I love to design. You know, we're making this movie at the epicenter of so many new technologies. In the design process, we're using 3D printing, we're using 3D scanning, we're using all the cutting edge software. The Stratasys J55 fits into our workflow as the ideal printer. We're getting really high quality parts, some of the best quality parts I've ever seen, but now they have combined that quality with printing and color. And that's a huge game changer. Take that darker green. Yeah, just a little, just a pinch darker, Get not a whole lot. Bit. Okay. Yeah, because this is about perfect. So we want this to be darker and that to be darker. Okay. And then we'll print it and then we'll see what that looks like. And I think it'll be perfect. What happens is Elliot cleans up the model and applies the texture and geometric data. And we import it into GrabCAD and we have all the color and the textures like all the rust and all the, the bumps and the bolts and everything. These printers are great because they actually print in CYMK, so you can get Pantone accurate colors. You know, when I work with that machine, I could tell that's the future of 3D printing for sure. I was looking at this helmet and I thought, you know, we could do a lot better. This is a science fiction movie. We took advantage of the fact that we have all these tools at our disposal and we very rapidly changed the design of this helmet. The first thing we did is we did a 3D scan of this with the Artec EVA scanner. It's taking photos 11 frames per second. As I rotate around, it's compiling all those images together to give us a really high definition 3D model with both the color and the texture. So the scan data comes in as point cloud data, which it converts to polygons. And now what I can do is take this and simplify it and make it into a cleaner mesh that's easier to work with. With the Cintiq, it's really easy to do in Maya. Then from there, I went on and I created this back piece, which has all kinds of little details in it. And all this was extracted exactly from the original helmet. So now we have these parts that can be exported and printed on the J55. This is a compound curve. This is one of the most complex shapes you can try to adapt a part to, and they fit flawlessly. So we're able to just power through this design very quickly. In the next pass, we'll probably print them in color. Once we glued all the parts on, we did the paint job. That was it. We had our new helmet for the movie. I think this technology just, as an artist, frees you up to focus on the art. To have that repeatability, to have that accuracy, those are all things that eliminate the need to mold and cast parts. It eliminates the need to do finish work on parts. That's a big deal. So the technology doesn't put people out of work, it just elevates the quality of our work. You know, so don't be afraid. <laughs> the marriage between Stratasys and Fonco Studios is a good one because they are an innovator. They're pushing their technology to the limit, and that's exactly what we need to do. It's exactly what we do every day. Bye for now. <laughs>